UAV inbound. What's up, you? Well, sorry that I haven't uploaded in such a while or such a long time. It's just I have a whole bunch of stuff going on in my high school right now, like football. I'm I'm pretty much focusing on football right now. But um, other than that, this is a gameplay of that new map that just came out on what is it? Res the objectives. Vengeance. Yeah, vengeance. But I don't remember what this map is called, but I have I actually do really good on it. I see this class setup that I'm using. Well obviously you can only see the gun. But um I would prefer to use that gun. I'll give you guys some tips and tricks on this map. Lightning strike coordinates received. But um anyways, what you, what you really want to do is just stay behind things cuz it's a um it's a big it's a big map, but it has a whole bunch of things you can hide behind. So just just stick to the corners, like I always do. Actually, I didn't even stick to the corner. I rushed straight in the middle. I got about five VSATs or four VSATs or something like that. But I, I do really good on this map. So what you want to do is up here. You can camp up here. You'll pick them off every once in a while. But um, this I can't get off of it. This map is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite, favorite is one of my most favorite maps out of every DLC that came out. And you could just spawn trap like days on this map. Look at this thing. Like three kills right here. But um, yeah, this map, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it during this video, but this map is amazing. I, I really would use the A94. I really would. But, um, so... So there's like this little rock that you can go behind, and I just lay down there for until I get my visa. I just lay there. Some kids just, and then you know all the little boys. Their mom buys them um, just like you know they buy them the map packs and the season pass and all that. But all you really got to do on this map is it's so like so graphic, graphic. I don't know how to say that word. Graphically good. I don't know how to properly explain that but this map has so many rocks and detail so you can pretty much blend in I probably wouldn't use diamond camo because that's just like oh here I'm a disco ball come kill me so don't use that I don't know why I'm using it but I, I wouldn't use it so like I said like right here you just lay down I'll just lay down the whole game pretty much just right right there where I'm laying down just lay down oh and use EMPs this is a very close combat game cause, or close combat map because of how many buildings there are and rocks and stuff like that so yeah try to play demolition because those you get a lot of kills on and I end up getting like 45 kills or something like that but yeah I really would encourage you to use the A94 but at the end I'll show you what I use and how I set it up and what my exact class setup if you want to try it out or something Right there, get like my first V set, V orbital V set. People, people will camp a lot, and just don't get frustrated. People will camp. Just that's why you see four in that little airplane. It's just so annoying. And I would encourage you to play with six people, a full party. Don't play by yourself because playing by yourself is boring. And uh, you know, just. Have fun playing. Don't rage like I do, putting holes in my wall. If I could, I will. I'll uh, take a picture with my camera, and I'll post it in here. It's like a big old hole in my wall. <laughs> or you can just go on my Instagram page, Feudal Prodigy, right there, and it shows a picture of a hole in my wall. But, um, there you go. Getting all these V-Sats in this game. So I really don't even know what to say now. I pretty much covered everything like I said lay down so you just can lay down pick them off one by one by one by two by three look at all those assist points oh my god but yeah they mostly spawn like you should this is what my team didn't do they didn't deploy a bomb like they didn't blow up a bomb to where they spawn in a certain spot like a spawn trap but oh we did it now because there's only B bomb or A bomb whatever bomb that is right there yeah right there but um, yeah, they'll spawn in a certain position if you uh, detonate one bomb, 
And you also get a lot of points. You get like 300, close to 400 points by just exploding a, a, a sabotaging or whatever you want to call it, blowing up a, um, a site. Oh my god, I don't even know what to call it. But it's getting close to the end right here. I pick up a few more kills. Yeah, I would say to to rush on this. No, don't rush on this map. Yeah, don't rush. Stick stick to the edges, and then when you know there's nobody on the edges because you've already killed them all, then start moving your way down towards the middle. Because it works really good. And I don't know why, but sometimes during this video, I like switch persons, so don't get confused. I do it for like a split second, though. I switch, and then it switches to someone with like a DSR or something, and then it switches back, so... It's let me see this. Let me see if it shows. Oh, why is it lagging? Lag. Oh, no, it didn't show. So good in the neighborhood. But anyways, here's my class setup that I'm using. I'm using the A94 with extended clip because, you know, it, that's how you just get more bullets into them. Stock. So you can, like, your movement can be a little quicker. Flak jacket or ghost? Flak jacket, you know, like, doesn't kill you. Like, you don't get exploded. And then hardline, you get your score streaks quicker. Scavenger, you can resupply your grenades. and Or Simtexes and EMPs. Like I said, C4, just in case you get a lot of hit markers, you can just chuck that fun cake or C4, whatever you want to call it, over and kill a dude. And then EMPs, take out sentry guns, guardians. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.